Welcome to Metamorphosis Part 2 NDNP Metadata. In the previous installment of Metamorphosis Online, NDNP Metadata Part 1, I introduced you to the NDNP technical specification and the NDNP batch structure. In this session, I'll introduce you to a resource that you should find extremely helpful in navigating and making sense of the NDNP specification, and that's called the Metadata Dictionary. The NDNP Digital Asset Metadata Elements Dictionary is updated and released every NDNP award cycle as part of the NDNP Technical Specifications document. The Metadata Dictionary lists all of the important elements that you'll need to insert in the various metadata places of an NDNP batch. It also provides examples of usage, lets you know if the element is mandatory or optional, and provides paths to where the elements are to be inserted. The table is organized into four sections. There's general information, title information, page information, and real information. Let me show you how to use this. Now suppose you're having a debate about whether or not to include addition labels in your metadata. Your vendor tells you that they're required for the spec, but you disagree. The metadata dictionary will settle this debate. So under title information, we come to the addition label element. The dictionary shows us some examples, how to use it, if the element is repeatable or not, and whether or not it is mandatory or optional. So as we look here, in this case, O means optional. The element is optional. You win. So the last column in the table contains a path to where this information should go in the metadata. This part is especially helpful for vendors. The metadata dictionary sets rules for how to encode specific elements. This encourages consistency across the hundreds of batches of content we have. For NDNP, you'll want to familiarize yourself with some of the key metadata elements, including title. I will cover a few particularly important ones for you. The title of a newspaper for NDNP purposes is more than what you traditionally think of as a title. The NDNP title is formed by combining the Mark 245 subfield A field with the Mark 260 subfield A field. This is often the same thing as what's in the Mark 130 field, but since many records don't actually have complete or accurate 130 fields, the spec calls for this combination. Page sequence number versus page number. The page sequence number orders the records for a page regardless of what was printed on the page. This field is particularly useful for issues with multiple sections where the number actually starts over at 1. It's also helpful when you have duplicate pages. You can't repeat a page sequence number, and these are mandatory. Page numbers, on the other hand, sometimes called page label, is another story. This is an optional string that represents what was actually printed on the page. If no page numbers are printed on the page, this element should be omitted. If the page number is spelled out, such as page 4, F-O-U-R, you should encode with the letters exactly as it was printed. One other NDNP-specific metadata element is the page present indicator. This field is almost always encoded as present to mean that the page is published and is digitized. But this field also allows you to save information about missing pages in the digital copy. Other values include not digitized published, or not digitized not published, or not digitized publishing unknown. Guidance on how to use these is available to awardees. Finally, I mentioned earlier that you name a batch using your institution's MARC org code. This is spelled out clearly in the Metadata Dictionary under Digital Responsible Institution Code. There's also a link to search existing MARC org codes. We use the MARC org code to also represent the source repository institution, or in other words, who owns the original source that was digitized, whether it's paper or film. In many cases, this won't be your institution, and you may find that this institution does not have a MARC org code. If that's the case, don't worry, you can request a new one. Just contact LC for help. Now, we've covered a lot in the last two sessions of Metamorphosis. The NDNP technical specification can definitely take some time to wrap your mind around, but I hope I've helped demystify some of the most important components of the metadata for you today. Just remember that the specs are freely available on the NDNP program site, Consult the Metadata Dictionary often, and LC staff is available for help if you ever have any questions. Oh yeah, and most important of all, don't panic.